Hello everyone and welcome back to another Grain Man Trails adventure and we're back on another mod map so this one is called Altesh Westerwald I think it is Altesh I'm not 100% certain but it was released today on the 12th of the 4th 2024 it is cross-platform compatible so PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One and the Xbox series of consoles it's on the version 1.0.0.0 it's 326.66 megabytes to download and it's been put together by a pretty well-known mapper actually called KA77E. I've done a couple of his maps before, map tours, and played them myself and I must admit I'm thinking this one probably hits the uh, hits the mark like all these other maps do so massively looking forward to touring this one. So it is actually got a little bit of information on ModHub and there's a few mods to download so we'll run through all that very very quickly. It says welcome to the Altesh, an idyllic village at the foot of the beautiful Westerwald. Here where the cold wind whistles over the heights, strong hands and solidarity are acquired. The farmers on the local farms work closely together under the label Landfund Altesh. But the residents in Altesh are also closely connected beyond farm life. Everyone knows everyone. People like to meet up in the outdoor pool on hot summer days, have football battles on the hard court, protects the village during exciting fire brigade operations, and ends the day in one of the rustic inns. Sounds like a lovely idyllic place to be. What does the map Altesh Westerwald offer? One open cow pasture with a maximum of 80 cows, five farms, a dwarf hof with max of 45 cows, I think that might be a cow pasture, a Wallahoff starting farm with a maximum of 80 cows and 360 chickens. A Sonhoff with a maximum of 160 cows. A Windhoff with a maximum of 540 pigs. And a Gluckshoff with a maximum of 28 horses. Now, if any of my pronunciations there are incorrect, I apologise. All farms can be purchased and managed via the farmland. Wallahoff, Sonnenhoff, Windhoff and Gluckshoff can be completely removed. Cow farms and pig farms are ready for the Mino system. Open cow pastures, Dorfhof and Sonnenhof are ready for the realism add-on animal grazing. Pretty good, pretty good. So the map has two field barns, 20 fields, 12 meadows, three forest areas, one small building site, four large building areas for your own creative building ideas. Always like that idea. Various sales and production points, two production buildings with new products, Production factory is fries. You also get the farm and garden production of strawberry milk, strawberry jam and mixed salad. That's the same as the white farm, which this map did as well. And I did a twelve, six or seven episode series on that. And it was a really nice map. Are you ready to become part of Altesh? So roll up your sleeves and get busy. I think I might have to uh, try that. So there is a couple of required mods. Well, there's only five. There's Hessen Farm by Bernie MW. Sargo and Containers by Bernie SCS, Old Grain Mill by Bernie SCS, Fire Department by Bernie SCS, and Farmer's Market by Bernie SCS. Now I think the swimming pool is around here somewhere. I'm trying to think, there it is, over in the corner there. So while we can spot that now, let's get our feet firmly back down on the ground and have a quick look at our starting farm and our starting equipment. So we do start with quite a lot of equipment. So we've got a fence mall tractor, a Valtra medium tractor, Valtra Valmet, and you'll see one of those, Deutschfahr header, normal uh, Welger trailer, header, Agamash plow, cultivator, rollers, manure spreader, sorry tank, two mowers, front and back, tedder, windrower, big forage wagon, a standard baler, animal feeding, what have we got? We've got tank, and we've also got a forage mixer, front loader, a oh, one front loader tool, header trailer, and a 750 pack weight. So nothing revolutionary, but all pretty nice bits of equipment. And I see the Valtra there as well. No lease items and no map or mod specific vehicles or items either. So all pretty good. So starting farmyard is here. So we've got big barn here with all our equipment in. Very nice. Big drive through one as well. The equipment does look like it's got a bit of... Um, life used on it so that's pretty nice got a couple of trailers here we've got rollers etc some more sheds some more sheds i've got like these sheds actually drive through ones very nice indeed got a um, cow pasture here by the looks of it looking very nice 
so yeah pretty good actually i must admit nice farm not too tight nice area as well let's just open the gates so got chickens there sleep triggers around the front as well so all very good so what do we start with start with 47 which has got our main farm and a bit of grassland around the back for the cows 31 which is field 21 uh, potland 1 which has got field 1 and some grassland areas there and also 35 which is just looks like a meadow near the shop so very nice indeed so crop calendar wise it has not been altered at all completely bog standard completely normal so pretty standard and all looking good uh, prices wise everything sells in multiple other places at least three or four maybe even more i think probably at least five there i think um, and also we've got a couple of custom productions we've got the strawberry milk mixed salad and strawberry jam which comes from your farming garden and we have french fries which comes from the uh, french fries factory similar to what it was on a couple of the other maps that this mod has done as well so animals we've got chicken pasture and a cow stable so chicken pasture straight in front of us 360 head and a cow stable this one i'm guessing this is cow stable can we find the trigger for the animals uh, ooh, no not straight away maybe i'm just being blind as always uh, anybody know where that is that'll be handy to know so the feed triggers there around here no some straw bales in there okay um that's not the best but oh well we will leave it at, oh what's up there wait a minute is it up here oh it might be why would you put the animal trigger there though okay yeah so it's an 80 head um area or 80 head barn and parlor so yeah interesting to put it all the way over there but there we go right contracts and production so contracts got some good sized fields there's 20 fields and they're not too big not too small so quite good bits of uh, contract in there productions we don't start with any on the on the map itself but we own in new farmer mode so pretty good pretty good so pda itself pretty basic pretty nicely laid out very clear very easy to see the roads the industrial and the commercial areas very similar to how this map does quite a lot of his maps so i cannot fault that at all the roads look really nice as well multiple ways to get to different places fields are very random in shape and size as well some good big ones like number seven looks a pretty big field number eight 16 as well but there's some smaller ones as well in the inside and at the top right so that's good so then if we zoom down here and have a look at our productions and purchasing places we've got animal dealer straw and feed sale and here we've got quite a few water point grain mill farm shop village market we've got the restaurant um there we've got the farming machinery dealer we've got the gas station with the farming machinery dealer the swimming pool bistro very nice farm and garden production which you can buy i'm guessing you've got the restaurant you've then got bakery farm shop we've done that we've done that sports club where you can play football apparently very nice uh, land trade altesh dairy westerwald milch sawmill and um, we've got agricultural goods of westerwald and up here we have production plant and finally we've got debris crusher wholesale altesh and the buying station farm supplies oh one more left actually agricultural trade as well so all pretty nice i must admit nothing revolutionary but no lots and lots of places to sell so let's get ourselves into yeah let's take the uh let's take the fence favorite for a bit of a spin shall we i do like a good fence tractor they are nice to drive right so i'm expecting this map to be quite picturesque and quite pretty to drive around if i can actually get out of my own farmyard so give me oh i can miss that let's go up here then looks so like we can get out up here hopefully if not we can just loop around 
Yep, we can just loop around and go around the top, I think. Oh no, we can get out there. Right, driving map tour going well so far, as always. Right, so here we go. So as you can see, it's not a flat map. It's not massively hilly and undulating like the last map I toured, the Alpine map, but it is got some contouring. The roads are very well done as always by the map maker. Got some nice textures, got some nice bits of detail on them as well. Let's go out of the village and just go up here a minute if we can. So good size fields, good, good width roads as well. Looks very nice, I like, I like it with the gravel edges and also with the grass that comes up from the meadows. Very, very pretty as always. I must admit, very. I always find uh, this map maker's maps very pretty and also very functional as a map. So very playable, nice wide roads, very well put together, lots of levels of detail, but also actually playable. So with small and large equipment, so field sevens. Quite a good size actually. This map does remind me a little bit of the new mini run in a way with the way that the fields are laid out and they're not too big, they're good size. You can have some nice medium sized combines like a funny CX770 or something like that from New Holland. But yeah, very nice. The roads are very good. Not too twisty and uh, hilly and contouring, but still very nice indeed. If we fire down here a minute, I think. So lots of bits of levels of detail. Got a track down here loads of different ways to get around the map as well which i'm very impressed by so when i did see this come up on mod hub though earlier i thought yep yeah, this is probably going to be a good map because ka77e does make very good maps for this game very very simple but works so well so what we'll do let's pull over up here a little bit and we'll have a quick look well hey took down a sign bonus let's have a quick look at our field prices so we wanted to expand probably 27, 72, 51, 129, 34, 80,000, that's pretty good. 40 is 100,000, 4 is 194, 93 for 3, let's go for 7, it's a big one. 437,000, so quite a lot, it's four nice bits of uh, land up here, all ranging from 96 or 80 odd to 106 sorry 73 to 106 so quite a lot of solids to be made there and maybe just put your own fields in so yeah very nice indeed very pretty map very well put together once again by uh, the map maker so hopefully you give this map a bit of a try and hopefully you have enjoyed this map tour if you have give it a like subscribe to the Greyman channel and i hope to see you again soon many thanks for watching